So basically we're double checking for um, problems in the print. Uh, this canvas from uh, LexJet is amazing. It's um, a matte canvas and it's actually slightly see-through. We usually use the Canon um, matte canvas, the artist matte canvas, which is it's an amazing canvas. But um, in this particular case, uh, the, the speed that we need to go at and the way we have to stretch these things, um, we have a lot to do in very little time. So I actually purchased the canvas from LexJet. Uh, we ran test prints on it and the test prints were amazing. We um, overstretched them to see how the edges and corners were going to be. Um, when we overstretched, the corners had a little slight um, separation of color. The edges were perfect. Uh, so you should always coat these things in a varnish. And um, in this case, we laid these all flat. We uh, varnished all of them and uh, they all looked good. So the big advantage, like I said, with this canvas is that we can actually see the crop marks through it. You can see that the varnish is all on the side here. Um, and these are the crop marks. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna flip this over. We're using two and a half inch decor stretcher strips for this. Uh, they are put together with a um, with a joiner, with a regular framing joiner and bead nails. Uh, they're super strong and they're wide and they are great for um, for commercial application. Let's get started. So we have our our stretcher strip frame again, uh, V nail together, two and a half inch, very very sturdy very straight and that's the main thing we want here especially for commercial application. Um, we're just using the regular Stanley stapler today. Uh, we have a couple of different staplers. This one this one will do it for us. Uh, it does not have the best penetration power but we have a hammer for that so we're good. Um, and what we do first on a big run like this when we have 20 to 30 prints what we'll do is we will tack them uh, in this case, we're going to tack them, and I'm going to do one corner, uh, and we'll try and do a detail shot afterwards. So here we go. We're going to line up this with the crop marks, which you can see. If you lift this, you can actually see the crop marks and the print through the canvas, and that's amazing because with the Canon canvas, you can't do that. Um, and it's not that it's too thick; it's just the coating on it is just it's just too much. That looks really good on that corner, right off the bat. That's perfect. And that is pretty near perfect. So this first side, uh, since we cut it so uh, on the printer, we didn't, I didn't cut it down yet. Um, it's actually easier to cut down afterwards after you staple one or two sides. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. Get nice and tight. Get that corner, get that corner, or edge I should say. Like I said, the penetration power of the stapler is not that great, so I'm going to bend it and flip it. There we go. In this case, we're going to bend it over a little bit so we can get our, get our Gorilla Grip in there. And just make sure we double check the alignment. There we go. Perfect. That's perfect. That's just the hair. That's great. Pull it over. Grab it. And again, we're just tacking. We're not going to do a full mount on this. Not yet. We will have to do a corner or two. Perfect. Now, what's nice about doing this uh, trimming after you got the staple is instead of having to use the scissors the whole way we can just slide it down trim that up put those in the garbage we'll do that on the other side when this is done so this we're going to just pull it slightly tight to make sure the edges are nice And 
center. And uh, pull this side over. We check the quality of this print before we coat it. Uh, this does have a couple of inconsistencies in it. We're using it for demonstration purpose, and I'm probably going to reprint this one and restretch it because uh, I don't like anything going out of here with even the slightest mark on it. So in this case, we're just going to uh, make sure our corners are even. And I'm going to trim up this so we have no more than about two and a half inches, two inches to staple with. And we don't care too much about how we trim that as long as it's pretty straight because we're going to put a backing board over this with nails and uh, do a whole finish back. And we'll do that with all our corporate stuff, not just corporate stuff, with, with all of our stretches. Um, they're all back. Uh, and then we'll have tab hangers on the corners. So with this, we make sure that our corner is right to the corner of the print. And again, since this is just a demo, we're just going to run through real quick and then I'll try and do a close up. So there are a number of ways to stretch it, to, uh, to pin these corners. We're going to do a super simple and quick way. Uh, normally when it's a, uh, a personal canvas for somebody, we'll do it very non-destructive and I will actually bend it, fold it over, come over. Now you do get that little hump and you get that 45 degree underneath, but it's non-destructive. If anybody ever wanted to take it off, restretch it, uh, that canvas is all still there and that's really important. Uh, in this case, we don't have to worry too much about that. So, we're just going to take one of these corners, and it's probably going to be very hard for you to see, but we're just going to do, starting right from about a quarter to a half inch from the side, we're going to come up and we're going to cut a curve. Let's see if we can do this so you can see it. So we're just going to curve it and round it out. And there we go. Very simple. And again, hopefully I'll be able to get you a close-up of this. So you can do it yourself. I can take a small tip off of that as well. Gets bent in on one side. This gets bent in on this side. Here. So it's bent in over here. So good. Good. And that's how we do this corner. Very simple. So fold it over to make sure that we have some overhang nice and tight. We're going to pull it tight. So we're going to do this side first. And we're going to hold it with our fingers. We don't need that much pressure on it. I'm going to take this side and hold it nice and tight. And this side we're going to pull a little bit harder. Make sure that corner doesn't come out too much on the corners here. I'm not taking the way that's sitting, so we're going to redo it again. Push that tab in just a hair. Make sure it folds nicely. Move it as straight as possible. Get that as tight as you can with your fingers. Bring this one. Tase it from the fingers. And just finish it off. Drill grips. In this case, we're just going to put three staples on. Two. And a little bit further down, we'll put one here. Horizontally. And not looking the stapler today, but there you go. Here is a near perfect corner. But there's a demonstration of your corner. And you can see that this canvas prints really well. Now when we stretch the whole thing and we actually staple it all, it'll be nice and tight to the, to the stretcher strips. We'll pull this down on the other corners. But as I said, as a demonstration, that's how we do it.